day and review this thing, we're going to give you a quick look at the Taurus Expedition. This is Adrian with Review This Thing. And I am super excited to give you a quick look at the Taurus Expedition, Taurus's first ever bolt action rifle. We got a sneak peek at the NWTF convention this year and knew we had to have one. The folks at Taurus let us borrow this to have a little fun with. We haven't shot it yet. We obviously haven't even put a scope on it, but we wanted to go ahead and give you a look at it. We are gonna have a lot more videos coming with the Expedition. So you may wanna subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss those. All right, let's preview this thing. First of all, right now, the Taurus Expedition is only available in 308, which is completely fine by me because as you know, we shoot a ton of 308. But I think pretty soon they're gonna be coming out with a 6.5 Creedmoor version too. It's built on the very popular Remington 700 platform. So it should be super easy to get rings, bases, triggers, anything else that you'd wanna switch out. It has a total length of 38 inches and only weighs right at about 7.1 pounds unloaded. So it is definitely a compact, easy to carry rifle. We're gonna start our tour of the Taurus Expedition with the stock, which has a lot of really well thought out features that make it ideal for hunters. First, the stock is a pretty heavy duty polymer that feels like it's gonna be sturdy and hold up to whatever you put it through. It also has this texturing on it, which should make it easier to hold on to whenever maybe it's wet or if you're wearing gloves. If you've watched our channel much, you know that this elevated cheek comb is a feature I'm very excited about, hoping that will make getting a good solid cheek weld easier as well. And if you're bench shooting or shooting prone, this curve here at the end should also make stabilizing a lot easier. But I think one of the features I am most excited about is this vertical grip. The size of it is large enough where you can comfortably get your hand around it. It's gonna make it a lot easier to hold, whether freehand or on some type of rest. And even though I have short hands, I can very easily reach the trigger from that comfortable rested position. And then with this dip on the back, it provides a perfect place for your thumb. And it has a 14 inch length of pull, which is a little bit longer than I like. So we'll see how it fits with a scope on it. So clearly a lot of thinking went into the rear end of this, but the fore end is no different. It of course has swivel studs for your sling. The fore end is actually almost 90 degrees on three sides. So it's going to sit a lot more steadily on again, like a shooting rail, or if you're using something like a bog death grip. Additionally, it has these indentations on the sides, which make it almost perfectly shaped for something like that death grip. But if you don't want to use something like that, you also have the option of M-lock attachments and it has the quick connect for the Spartan Precision mounts as well. So if you want to stabilize your gun while you're shooting, you have, I think, almost every option available to you with this gun. We're gonna stay on the bottom and you see it has a five capacity AICS style magazine. So it's gonna work with aftermarket options as well. And it's pretty easy to release. You just push that thumb piece in and pull it right out. Then replace it, just pop it right in like that. The trigger is a Taurus factory trigger. It is adjustable. They say it comes out of the box at three to five pounds. We actually measured it at just a little over two and a quarter pounds. So maybe my gauge is off, but I will say the it feels very easy to squeeze and smooth. Hopefully when we get it out there and shoot it, we'll feel the same way. So stay tuned for that. So that's the bottom. Now let's head on top. The Expedition has a very smooth and easy to work two position thumb safety. And it's actually very easy to reach from that rested shooting position. So unlike a lot of rifles, I don't have to lift my hand up to reach the safety and then get back down on the trigger. The bolt is a 60 degree throw, which is significantly less than a lot of others. And that's going to be really handy for being able to mount your scope lower and not have to worry about the bolt hitting it. And right out of the box, this bolt is actually really smooth. I'm very interested once we get it cleaned up, lubed up a little more how it's going to feel. But so far, I'm very impressed. You can see that the bolt is fluted, which of course looks cool, but that's hopefully also gonna make sure that it's operational if you get maybe some dirt, sand, snow in there. And like I said, it is drilled and tapped for Remington style rings and rails, which are plentiful. 
The bolt action and barrel are all DLC coated, so they should stay very well protected from the elements for a long time. And then we'll finish off our tour with the barrel. It has an 18 inch barrel with a one in 10 twist rate. It also has a heavier contoured barrel, which I like. So we'll see how that shoots. I really like the fluting on the barrel. It just adds a nice visual touch, makes it look pretty cool. And then another of my very favorite features is that the barrel is threaded. Right now it just has a thread protector cap on it, but that's gonna make it easy to put a muzzle brake, which we likely will do. You know how I love those. And with this 18 inch barrel, it is ideal for hunting suppressed. You put that six inch suppressor on and now we're only 24 inches, which is standard for some rifles. So we are definitely excited about trying that. So there you have it. A quick tour of the brand new Taurus Expedition hunting rifle. Go ahead and comment below and let us know what you think about it. If you like this video, make sure you give us that thumbs up. If you really like it and like what we do, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. We have a new video every Sunday, so that way you won't miss any of them. And head over to reviewthisthingtv.com where you can find this as well as a lot of other setups and other great information. As always, thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching our Taurus Expedition quick look tour. While you're here, like it, comment, share it with your friends. If you haven't, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Make sure you head over to reviewthisthingtv.com, subscribe to our newsletter, and go shopping. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter. Thanks for watching.